left Tucson. It's the same road I took to get to Tombstone, but I'm not going to take the uh, off ramp on the 80. I am heading for Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. Mostly because I like the name of the town. Maybe get a picture with the sign. I'm anticipating getting to Roswell today, so this is mostly a driving day. Um, and then tomorrow's Wednesday, so I'll see Roswell and start thinking about heading west or northwest. Thinking of coming back a different route than I came out, particularly since I've driven that um, Flagstaff to Vegas corridor like four times now. So we're going to do this a little bit differently and try and come back from the northeast of Vegas. Yep. Truth of Consequences, then Roswell. Now I'll be plotting a course to let me do that. America the Beautiful Drive on Route 66. I'll figure it out. Peace. I just crossed into New Mexico. Oops. Thought it was a cool mountain. Thought I would swerve off the road and almost die just to get that shot. That didn't happen. Whole lot of New Mexico. Cresting a ridge. Whole lot more New Mexico. Mexico is, uh, it's got an interesting sense of humor. I'm currently driving through the city of Hatch, New Mexico. Shortly before I got to Hatch, New Mexico, I drove through Nut, New Mexico. Not a joke true. I drove through Nut, then I drove through Hatch. Nut Hatch! Da 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 da. It's the electric company. Remember that? Sesame Street did it too. It was face on the left, face on the right. Left side said a word, right side said a word, then it went together to make a compound word. Nut Hatch. Nut Hatch! Da 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 da. Almost to Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. Then I'm going to plot out the course for the rest of the day. Thought it was a cool mountain. I'm in Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. That means the commission chambers. Truth or Consequences Library, past the Truth or Consequences Municipal Building. If I see the city limits sign that says Truth or Consequences, I will try and get a picture next to it. Why Truth or Consequences, you ask? Cool name. Cool name. I'm sure it figures in other stuff. I mean, like, it's come up in literature I've read and stuff, but I can't place anything right now. I know, uh, I think Las Cruces figures in the Sam Shepard play, but I'm not going to go through there. Um, 
stopping and treat the consequences briefly. Neat little town. Um, I'm gonna plan where to go next. See uh, how Al Macordo, Roswell, and uh, Carlsbad Caverns all work from here. And whether or not I can get all three of those done by the end of the day tomorrow. Get them done like it's a chore. Um, include all three of those by the end of the day tomorrow. Because if I finish tomorrow in Truth or Constant, if I finish tomorrow in Carlsbad and I get to see the bats, uh, which would seem appropriate, um, I can then start that as my farthest point. It gives me five days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, to get back to Bakersfield um, and still stop and do stuff on the way. So, truth the consequences, halfway through the day. Mountains. I don't like taking pictures of mountains so much. minivan alliteration truth or consequences New Mexico truth or consequences New Mexico no matter where I go I will always know how to get to truth or consequences New Mexico Here's some footage of to the consequences, New Mexico. It's not the greatest film I've ever shot. But if there's one place I'd like to be, I'm plainly you can't see. In to the consequences, New Mexico, I get caught. To the consequences, New Mexico, to the consequences, New Mexico, no other place I'd rather go. To the consequences, New Mexico, to the consequences, New Mexico, except for where I'm going now, Alamogordo. There's a cool sign that said Alamogordo a little while ago over the freeway, and I was didn't get the camera out in time to get that shot of it going by overhead. So I was hoping I was going to get another one, uh, but no, I have not seen another sign that says I'm headed towards Alamogordo. Alamo Gordo, which means fat Alamo, doesn't it? Fat Alamo. That means there would have been thousands of American soldiers under siege by Santa Ana. It would have lasted a lot longer at Alamo Gordo. Yeah, I got nothing. Rest up had a rocket on it. It's behind me now. I missed the shot. Mike told me I was gonna miss shots no matter what I did, so don't stress about it. Cause you're gonna miss shots and then you're gonna miss more shots. So I missed the shot of the rest stop with the rocket ship on it. I am just shy of uh, White Sands missile, te missile site. Um, I am going to um, go on, I'm gonna skip it. Hopefully I get some uh, footage of it as I drive by. It's not like they're gonna let me look at the nukes. Uh, but White Sands National Monument closes soon and my GPS as I get there about um, 4.45. So I'm guessing that means it closes at 5. So hopefully I can get 15 minutes in White Sands um, National Monument before it closes. Then I'm going to have dinner with a friend and then I'm going to push on to Roswell. Yes, I have a friend in Alamogordo, New Mexico. Crazy, right? Secret government research. White Sands Missile Range, one mile. You might be looking at it right there. A 
lot of nothing. White Sands Missile Range, half a mile. These are all government vehicles leaving the missile range. There's nobody behind me on the road. Missile Range Headquarters slash HTA. Missile Range Headquarters. I feel like I felt when I went out to Area 51 like I'm driving somewhere I'm not supposed to drive even though I'm on a state highway. Feels like I'm not supposed to be here. Why would they put that sign out there that this is the missile range? Is that where the Hulk was created? Now you realize the fullness of my plan. This trip is all about visiting locations that are likely to activate my latent superpowers. So here we are, White Sands Missile Range Testing Facility. Hopefully I catch enough radiation. Let's see what happens from here. Oh shoot, that car that just passed me right there has a NASA plate on the front. It's deep in the home of secret government projects. I have a tinfoil hat on, but I'm not going to show you. I promise it's a tinfoil hat. Okay, so there's metal in it. There's metal in my hat. It's protecting my brain. There's white sands over there. I'm still a couple miles out. I still think I'm not going to have any time there. But I'm passing it. I'm passionate. I'm passionate. It's part of a joke, I know. I know a joke. Oh my god. Oh, so the trip to truth for consequences cost me. Behind me is White Sands. Um, glare on the screen is such that I'm not sure I can see everything. There's the, there's the booth going into the park. Um, the hour and a half it took me to get the truth of consequences and back, uh, plus the time I spent there. Um, White Sands is closing soon. Uh, the, the gift shop visitor center online said five o'clock. Their sign says six o'clock, which gives me about. Well, I mean, if it's six, I got about an hour. Um, but given that I spent, I haven't had a national park yet where I've spent less than two hours, seems to me like uh, it'd be a bad idea for me to spend the money to go in there uh, when I have to come right back out momentarily. So um, I drove by White Sands. There's the visitor center. Uh, but I'm going to press on and maybe come back here another time. Because uh, I want to sleep in Roswell tonight. That's still two and a half hours away. Gonna have dinner. Uh, so that tomorrow morning I can wake up, check out Roswell, and then head for Carlsbad Caverns. So I think I, I want to do that. Um, so yeah. So we are. We're at White Sands. Secret government projects everywhere. Every, all those people flip over and have lots of technology underneath them. Like a Hasbro playset. They just whoop. And there's like soldiers who are upside down right now, but there's secret government techs with like internal gyroscopes to help them when they flip over so they continue functioning either upside down or right side up. You gotta wonder, is G.I. Joe trained at that? Peace. <laughs> Gotta stop doing that. Peace.
Las Cruces. So it came up from there. That's where we are. That's where we're going. And tomorrow we're going out that way. And we're going back up that way later. So yeah, there's the cool relief map of the area. Hello, true believers. I had dinner uh, outside of Alamogordo. I forget the town's name. A restaurant called the the Old Road. They asked me to compare New Mexico Mexican food to California Mexican food. I lied. I told them it was just as good. It's not. Chips were good. Chips were better actually. They were seasoned nicely. But I'm about five miles from Roswell, and I've seen plenty of close encounters of the third kind type shots. I've played a little bit of uh, Twilight Zone nuns ahead driving, if you know what that means. Um, not going to do it right now, because uh, I don't want that on video. But this shot's spooky enough. Coming into Roswell. At quarter ten at night. It's been a long day, mostly driving. Good day for the budget. Good day for exploring New Mexico. Saw a lot. Um, yeah. So I'm looking forward to a bed. And we'll check out the alien crash site tomorrow. Peace.